Okay, I was just driving back from Texas and um, after seven hours on the road it gives you a lot of time to think and um, I just kind of wanted to share something that happened this week and I'm sure several of you um, have experienced the same thing in your life and I just kind of wanted to share the impact it has on us. Have you ever been given the silent treatment where just somebody you love just stops talking to you, doesn't tell you why, won't return your phone calls, won't return your texts, won't return your emails, just flat out is giving you the silent treatment. And um, wow, that just really hurts. Um, you feel like you've done something wrong, you want to reconcile, you want to know what you did wrong so that you can kind of make things right. And um, they just don't give you that opportunity. They don't tell you what you did or why you're getting the silent treatment. But it kind of reminded me back when I was in Bible college, um, we had a, a teacher that was teaching family, um, marriage and family class. And he said one time, it stuck with me all these years, that one of the most hateful things you can ever do to somebody is give them the silent treatment. Um, because the silent treatment is birthed out of anger and um, it's almost as if the person is saying, you are dead to me. In my eyes right now, you don't even exist. I'm not even acknowledging you. You are dead to me. So it's, it's no wonder our teacher said um, it's one of the most hateful things that you can do to somebody. So I encourage you today, if you've ever been in a position where you've given somebody the silent treatment, I, I encourage you to think of those words because um, people have a right to your heart and um, the ones that love you. And um, if you're going through a hard time with somebody and you're angry or you're hurt about something, you know, you could always just say to them, you know what, right now I'm dealing with something that transpired between you and I and I'm not at a place that I want to talk about it right now, but I just don't want you to feel like I'm ignoring you. So just give me some space and we'll get together and let's talk. Um, at least it gives them some feedback, lets them know what's going on. But just to go cold turkey and give them the silent treatment and um, not even give the decency to acknowledge them, you're basically telling them, to me, you are dead. You are dead to me. And um, don't do that. That, that just um, causes a snowball effect um, because now that person's going to be reeling in hurt and pain from the rejection. And then it just is, and then, you know, sadly, sometimes because we don't know how to handle rejection well, um, we can put up walls because we've just been hurt. And it's just this big nonsense. It just, just this vicious cycle that just doesn't stop. So, and if you're right now um, a victim of somebody who's giving you the silent treatment, who's just ignoring you, I feel your pain. I really do because that is one of the most hateful things that somebody can do to you and it's just, it just tears your heart up. It really does. And this week, um, um, I've just been in turmoil over it. I've had to just really, in this trip to Texas, just really had to cry out to God to um, to help me and to remove the pain that I was feeling and shed the tears and stuff. And I thought, gosh, how simple it would have been if the person would have given me the decency to acknowledge me, talk to me, text me, something, anything. I mean, a simple text. You don't even have to engage in anything deep with the person. You could have just sent a text. They could have just sent an email or something if they didn't want to engage in a conversation like by phone or something. So um, I, I just bear with bear with those people that are doing that to you. And I am so sorry that's happening. And I know the pain in that. And let it be a lesson that don't do it to anybody else because giving somebody the silent treatment is just, just horrible, horrible. And you don't want anybody, as a Christian, you don't want anybody to feel that they are dead to you. Just think about that. You don't want anybody to feel they are dead to you. Because that just is a, a, a knife in the heart, that just a wound that doesn't go away right away. And you don't want to be the, the um, perpetrator in doing that to somebody. 
So I just pray for you today. If you've been wounded, if somebody's giving you the silent treatment, I just ask that God intervene. God soften the heart of the person that's doing it. And I ask God to set up a hedge of protection around your heart and help you not to become bitter or to lash out in a fleshly way or to retaliate by being um, given the cold sh shoulder back or being bitter towards the person or hateful or unforgiving. So, um, you know, I just, I just pray that you keep alive and stay alive so you, your heart just doesn't end up barren like what's behind me. It's kind of pretty back there, but it's barren, and we don't want our hearts to be barren. So be blessed, um, and that's my little word of encouragement this week, okay?